When it comes to ordering your board, you might be wondering which one's the right one for you. So we're going to go through and compare two of our best selling drives, the steel spur gear drive and the open belt drive. Spur gear is basically two steel gears, one big one and one little one that work together with the motors to move your board. Both the gears are concealed and this drive system is pretty much unbreakable, hence why we use it on our electric drift trikes. All the parts are CNC'd so they fit perfectly together, it's extremely durable but also quite heavy and loud, it's kind of like a skateboard crossed with a tank. The open belt drive is, as the name suggests, a belt driven system. Because it has less heavy parts, it's much lighter than the spur gear drive, which makes it perfect for trails that have jumps or tricky features. The belts are obviously exposed, so it does mean there's a chance of snapping them, but because it's an open system, it makes changing belts really easy and quick. But the only way to truly test these boards is to take them out into the real world, onto the mud and the trails. I prefer open belt drive to spur just because I like jumping on a board and uh, open belts are a lot lighter than the spur. Yeah, you can just fucking ride through wherever you want. It just it's got a little bit lower ground clearance, so you do feel the board like hit on a few things every now and again compared to the OBD but because it's enclosed and um, you just don't have to worry about breaking anything, it just rides through whatever, it'll never break. <laughs> Best be riding muddy, shitty conditions, forests, wet, branches, roots, gravel, anything. It's fine on anything. Probably only takes me like a minute to change a belt. You literally just whip the wheel off, put a new belt on, done, easy. So that's why it doesn't really matter to me if belts keep breaking because it's so easy to change them on the open belt drive. <laughs> Yeah, I like the spur gear drive. The steel gears are really good because you know they're not going to break on you. If you're going through like thick mud and stuff, you can just keep going through. Just hold your finger down on the trigger, keep going. Um, yeah, they're good. It's just a bit heavy on the back end for me, like, but that's just because I like jumping and stuff. OBD's more trail riding, soft, compact, fast. It's lighter, more manoeuvrable, a bit more playful and fun. It kind of like, I mean, I spend, I spend all day with Rich at work, right? So, you know, that's enough time around a heavy back end for me. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs>